Hi, this is uh, Dilip Thakur from uh, CBSC Immediate Help and today again we are going to take up one question that came last year in the question paper and uh, we will try to solve it because that is also somewhat tricky and unusual. So before I take you there, let's just have a look of the question paper that uh, students got last year which is 2016 and then we will see what the question was all about okay so here uh, we will take up a question on probability where now just take you to the question now it is it says that uh, a set of numbers 1 2 3 4 1 4 9 16 uh, there is one number which is picked up from uh, this set say x there is another number y which is taken from this second set and uh, the condition is that when these two numbers are multiplied their product should uh, be less than 16 so we have to find out what is the probability for this condition to happen so the situation is there in front of you we have two sets x and y having four numbers each and the product is given here and the product should be less than 16 that is what we have to find the probability of so what do we do first? we will number try to match the product karke, and then we will see the total possible outcomes kitne aate. so let's first take 1 x equal to 1 here and we will try to match it up or uh, multiply it with all the elements of this set y and then we will try to find out what is the product so number x is equal to 1 is taken then corresponding 1 is taken xy is 1 now again the x will remain same because that has to be multiplied with all the elements but y has changed because the second element is 4 similarly y is equal to 9 y equal to 16 when you find the product you will get 4 9 and 16 which means now these numbers are the possible outcomes of this condition so let's write it 1 4 9 and 16 so this we have got corresponding to one particular number of x similarly when this is multiplied with all we will get 2 into 1 2 2 into 4 8 2 into 9 18 and 2 into 16 32 when 3 is multiplied we will get 3 into 1 3 3 into 4 12 3 into 9 27 and 3 into 16 48 So similarly when we take up x equal to 4 and multiply it with all the elements we will get 4 into 1 4, 4 into 4 16, 36 and 48. Now looking at this we have got the all possible outcomes when elements of x are multiplied with the elements of y. So now let's count it it will give us 4 into 4 which is 16 so we have got one component of the probability because if you want to find the probability of this event the formula is total number of outcome and in the numerator total number of favorable outcome So this part we have already got and this we will try to find out and then we will substitute here and that will give us the answer. Okay, so this 16 will come here in the denominator. Now let's try to find out how many elements actually obey this condition or this rule which is given here. So let's start with this. Is 1 less than 16? Uh, I beg your pardon, the condition which is given here is uh, xy should be less than 16. I wrote it as uh, a greater sign. 
So I'm sorry for that. So now let's try to find out the total number of favorable outcomes. Now in this sample space, total outcomes, how many elements actually obey this rule? Is 1 less than 16? Yes. Is 4 less than 16? Yes. 9 less than 16? Yes. Now again 16 is not less than 16, so we cannot take it. Again 2 less than 16, condition is favorable. 8, it's alright. 18, we cannot take. 32, we cannot take. Again 3, alright. 12, is also fine. 27, we cannot take. 48, again, not possible. 4, we can take. 16, we cannot take. 36, we cannot take. 48, we cannot take. So, how many numbers or elements actually follow this rule? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After this, we cannot take because it is either 16 or more than that. So, the total number of favorable outcomes will be 8. So, again we have got 8 by 16. We can cut it and finally we will get the probability as 1 by 2. 1 by 2 means what? There is a 50% chance of this condition getting fulfilled. There is a possibility in 50% times that these x and y when they are multiplied will give less than 16. So this is how we can find out following all the conditions mentioned in this question.